Proverbs and uh, Byway. Why are we still calling ourselves that name, uh, Hector? I don't know, man. I'm up. We, look, we're going to bring it out for you. It's, it's, it's because we are destroyed as a nation, right? We are conquered. Right now, this is the conquered version of ourselves. That's why we're still living in the, in the land of the, the, the people that took us captives, right? The, the, we're still living in the land of, of the people that held us in oppression, right. right? Jim Crow laws, we're still here in their land, right? Still calling ourselves their names, right? But all of that was scriptural, and we all know that. We're going to bring it out for you, Hector. Read. Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 37. Yeah. And thou shalt become an astonishment. So, scriptures say thou, meaning you and your people, all of the Israel, everybody you see on the sign, shall become an astonishment, right? That word means an amazement, right? Read on. A proverb. A proverb, a wise saying, right? In order for you to hide anything from a black man, what do you do? Put it in a what? You heard that before? Put it in a book, right? Because niggas don't read. That is, that's what the scriptures say when they talk about a proverb, a wise saying, right? Uh, uh, the Most High said we will become that, right? We're naturally not that. We are God's chosen people. We are the holy people that the Bible talks about, right. that God created us to right. be. But right. he said, because of your disobedience, I'm going to turn you into the opposite of what I created you to be. Right. All right, read on. And a byword. And a byword, right? So your byword is Hispanic. Your byword is Puerto Rican, right? God did not give you that name, right. Hector. Got you, got you, got you. God did not give you that name. So, so why, for the most part, do our people really represent that thing? It's uh, it's because we are destroyed as a people. Give me a hold that. Give me a Hosea. Hosea, uh, you know, you know what I want. Hey, wait, matter of fact, what, what does that even mean, Puerto Rican? It means a rich port. Rich port. You are not a rich port, right? Our people are not rich ports. All the so-called Puerto Ricans, Hispanics, right? That's that's a that's a slave. That is a byword, right? So you got to wake up. First of all, understand who you really are. You are an Israelite. You are God's chosen people, you and the rest of your nation. And then start to repent, meaning change who you are right now. Because God didn't create you to be a Puerto Rican. He didn't create you to be a rich port. You know what I'm saying? So we got to come back to who we really are. Just just stay, stay with us, all right? Read. Um, what, what is it? The book of Hosea, chapter 4, verse 6. My people are destroyed for a lack of knowledge. You hear that? It said, my people. Who's that my people talking about? It's talking about us. It's talking about God's chosen. Right. The Israelites according to the Bible. Us. Because that's who we really are. We are destroyed for lack of knowledge. Give me knowledge. Malachi. We're destroyed for lack of, of knowledge. Meaning we don't have God's knowledge. Right? We don't have what it's, it's going to take for us to be successful as a nation. Right? So bring that up. We, got, we, we have to come back to these laws. We got to come back to our true identity. We got to understand that Christ does not look like this man right here. Facts. Facts. Right? You already know that, right? Yeah, yeah. But for the most, the, the whole world is worshiping this man as Christ. When you watch these movies, that's Christ right there. Exactly. Our people crying in the damn movie theaters for this, this imposter right here. Right. That's not Christ. Facts. So why are we crying for that? Destroyed for the lack of knowledge. Christ looked more like me and you. Bring it up. Malachi chapter 2 verse 7. For the priest's lips should keep knowledge. So the priest's lips should keep knowledge. Right, real? And they should seek the law at his mouth. And those priests shall keep, shall seek the law right at his mouth. So that's the knowledge that the scriptures is going into, real? For he is the messenger of the Lord of hosts. So remember the scriptures we just went to. Our people, the Israelites, right? So-called Puerto Ricans, so-called blacks, so-called uh, Haitians, so-called Mexicans, uh, uh, so-called, uh, what's, what's the other Hispanic uh, tribes? Uh, Cubans, Dominicans, right? All of us are destroyed for a lack of knowledge. We just got you the knowledge. We don't have the laws. We don't have God's laws, right. right? And for the most part, we don't want them. 
Why? Because we don't understand the power within those laws. Those laws are here to govern us as his chosen people. Give me uh, Deuteronomy 7 and 6. Matter of fact, matter of fact, give me uh, Corinthians first. Corinthians 11. Let me show you something, bro. Let me show you something. Uh, uh, 11, uh, yep, 11 and even 4. First Corinthians chapter 11, verse 4. Every man praying or prophesying. So, so before we even get to this, we, we need you to understand that when you read this Bible, right, you're reading about your custom, your traditions, your history, and the prophecies of your nations as, as a people, right? So, this is directly speaking to you and your nation. All right, so read it again. Every man praying or prophesying. So, every Israelite man, right, praying or prophesying. Right now, we're prophesying. We're, we're enlightening you of the understanding of the Bible. So, right now, we're in prophecy. Read right. on. Having his head covered. Having his head covered. Right, read on. Dishonoreth his head. Dishonor. So right now, we understand our people for the most part. We don't we don't know these scriptures. You you just find out. Look, according to the Bible, you are Israelite. Right? But we're bringing it out for you right now. Right now, you're dishonoring your head, which is Christ. Right? Because you you got your head covered. Alright? So what we must do as a people, we, we got to start to come back to this. So while prophecy is going out, you got to uncover your head. Right? So where you out here, bro? Honor your head, which is Christ, by taking off the do-rag. I mean, uh, the bandana right quick. All praises to the most high, man. Give it up for that brother, man. That's, look. Hey, look. That's, that's, that's what's going to bring us back as a people. There's a lot of people we bring this, this stuff out to, right? According to the Bible. You know, they disregard. They don't care nothing about God's word, man. They don't care about his feelings, his opinions when it comes to dealing with us as a nation. They don't care. But the Lord is looking for that remnant that did what you just did right now. Right? right? Just op That is uh, obedient according to his word. You understand now? Give me the Sabbath. Give me the Sabbath. Uh, Exodus 35. So, what we must do is... We have to obey the whole Bible, right? So naturally, when we think of that, you know, we think of, oh man, we get, we gotta follow these rules, you know, we gotta, uh, we're extremely restricted. I mean, we can't go to the club. That is the case, but we're gonna have so much more joy and pleasure as a people if we just listen to God so much more because the kingdom of heaven was created for you. Right. It wasn't created for everybody. They weren't meant to be on top. You and your people were meant to be on, on top. The so-called Puerto Ricans, the so-called blacks. We were meant to rule this earth, right? So by you doing that, you come in right back to rulership. So we, we can give up those clubs. We can give up smoking weed. Why? Because none of that stuff has nothing to do. Uh, uh, it, it doesn't top the kingdom at all, at all. Not, it doesn't even come even close. Right? Of, of that pleasure. All right? But check this out. Read. Exodus chapter 20, verse 8. Read. Remember the Sabbath day. So the scriptures say, you Israelite people, right? Remember the Sabbath day. You ever heard of that? The Sabbath? You never heard of it? Oh, right, it's all good. Look, we, we here to teach. All right, read on. To keep it holy. So the, the Sabbath day, we have to remember it and to keep it holy. Hold that, give me a uh, Genesis two, two and one. All right, so there's a specific day that God created and he called it the Sabbath, right? So we have to understand that day and we must keep it holy, right? Read what you got. Genesis chapter two, verse one. Huh? Thus the heavens and the earth were finished what? and all the host of them. And on the seventh day, God ended his work so, so everything you see before you was created, right? All of the trees, the skies, the clouds, the waters, the world as a whole, right? Was created by God. Scripture just said he rested on the seventh day, right? Read on. And on the seventh day, God ended his work which he had made. 
and he rested on the seventh day from all his work. He rested on the seventh day. So let me ask you this. What is the seventh day according to the Bible? Sunday? That's what our people think. It's, it's, it's actually the, the, the seventh day is Friday sundown to Saturday sundown, right? Which would, we would, you know, kind of technically call Saturday, right? So our people, for the most part, we, we think of Sunday as that seventh day. That's why a lot of Christians, so-called Christians, they go to church on Sunday, right? But that's only in honor of the sun. They don't understand that the the origin of the origins of Christianity is pagan, right? So that's that's why we're still, you know, of of uh, uh, at the bottom of society. Our our communities are, you know, uh, filled with trash. We're still in the ghettos and things like that. Why? Because our our knowledge, according to to God is religion, right? Is Christianity, right? Christianity has nothing to do with the Bible because they don't keep no laws, right? They, they don't keep the Sabbath day holy. They keep Sunday holy. And when you look at a calendar, what's always the first day of the week? It's always Sunday, which means Saturday is the last day of the week, right? Friday sundown to Saturday sundown. All right, so that's the that's the day that we have to come together and and keep that day holy as an Israelite people, right? So that's a commandment for you. That's a commandment for your family, your your mother, your father, your sister. I don't know if you got any, you got kids. You got two kids, so you gotta you gotta identify with this. You gotta I, identify with these scriptures. We used to scream black power while Haram was pushed. But at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road, purple and gold. From Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling These are how our men repented at heart The scriptures is proof IUIC, we deliver the truth